So this is my first stop, Taco Bell. Yeah, I know, Taco Bell doesn't make the greatest tacos, but there's a very high likelihood that you've all had Taco Bell at some point in your life. So I gotta start here and get a baseline. Okay, so I didn't really want to eat in the car, but I'm not allowed to film in there. I'm sorry, hon, if you're watching this, um, if you find any uh, taco stains, um, it wasn't me. Here we go. I got two tacos. I got one soft, one hard, and uh, these are the Taco Supreme. I'm not sure what exactly makes it supreme, but the rules for tacos are a little bit different. Instead of one bite, you got to eat it in three bites. Uh, anyway, enough yapping. Let's go in three bites, and then I'll give you my rating. That crunchy taco is not very crunchy. It's actually kind of stale for some reason. Oh, oh. Mm. oh yeah. Exactly how I remember the last time I had this. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Taco Bell's hard taco. I'm gonna say 2.5. Let's move on to the other taco, which is soft. See if it gets a better score. It's, it's not the prettiest taco, but maybe it tastes better. Here we go. <laughs> that's a, I'm sorry. That's a 2.25. In a pinch or late night, Taco Bell is the place. <laughs> Cheers, friends. So what exactly makes me some sort of expert on tacos? Well, let's see, uh, I've been through Jalisco, Michoacan, and Mexico City. I spent several weeks in those places. They're basically where tacos were born. I've also been on a very extensive LA food truck tour towards some of the best taco trucks in LA. And um, I've been eating tacos since I was a baby. So that's why I'm the taco expert. And if you haven't seen the previous video, I do go on a rating of one to five. I have never given a five before. I don't think there is a five of anything in Lebanon, um, no offense. Uh, but five is basically the most unachievable score ever. You'd have to be like super exceptional. But anything above a four is very good. Shall we? What's all this little green stuff on here? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so we're currently at the Bad Orf in Anvil and the Bad Orf is like a restaurant slash bar. They have like a Mexican fusion type menu and obviously they have tacos on the menu. So we have the, we have the mahi taco and then we have the chicken chipotle. Right off the bat, these tacos are stuffed. They're huge. Well, Kane, can you three bite that? First bite, we're just gonna get a feel for the taco. Second bite should be your biggest bite. Ready? <laughs> and then finally, the third bite should almost completely finish the taco. But this is a really big taco, so. Okay. Kind of spicy. There's like a cream sauce on top. The chicken is cooked perfectly. Barros Chicken Chipotle Taco 3.75. That's a pretty good taco. The Chicken Chipotle here at Barros 3.75. Rotunda. Rotunda, whatever. This is the mahi mahi taco. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same thing, but with fish in it. And uh, it looks like there's cabbage. Here we go. Hold on. That's way more than three bites because that's a <laughs> huge taco. <laughs> Rotunda mahi mahi taco, 3.25. I feel like. The fish is a little overcooked. The uh, cabbage, they needed to thinly slice the cabbage. My experience of eating a taco was like more like I was eating cabbage. But the flavor was good and I like the sauce. 
Okay, anyone wants to add something in here, go ahead. My mic's on my uh, lapel. I would give it a 3.1. You, no, you gotta go in quarters. You gotta, you gotta 3.0 or 3.25. Okay, I'll give it a 3.25. I'm about to taste the chicken the chicken's right now. Chicken's banging. Chicken Chipotle taco, here we go. He's going in three bites. You know the rules, Joaquin, okay, three bites. Mm. Come on, we're waiting for the rating, let's go. One more bite. One more bite. Ten hours later. I'm gonna give the chicken chipotle a 3.5. It's busy. I've never seen it this busy here. Welcome to the Lemonist Farmer's Market. We're going to uh, go to a taco shop here. It's a new one that just opened up. So this is Taqueria El Campadre, a relatively new taco shop here in Lebanon. Um, I think they opened up less than a year ago, but they're the only taco shop that I know that actually uses a rotisserie for their Al Pastor tacos. All right, we've got El Pastor and Asada. Also, you gotta get the Salsa Verde. This is the hottest one. Very unique, very tasty. This is what I call a street taco. Um, it's really small and uh, fully loaded but this is uh, the perfect kind of taco the three bite so you guys know the rules mm. add a little bit of sauce for your next bite boom a little palate cleanser second bite here we go i love the pineapple add just a little touch of sweetness a little tanginess to the taco just goes really well with the rest of the meat and the, the shell and everything. Three bites done. Taqueria El Compadre's Al Pastor. I'm giving a 3.5. Reason why is because it's kind of dry. Also, I would have liked double the shells. Those are my only gripes. Other than that, that's a pretty solid Al Pastor. Next up, we're doing the asada. This time I'm gonna squeeze a little of my lime on here. And we're going right in with some sauce. This one you can almost two bite. So here we go. I only need one bite for this one. I already know what I'm gonna give it. 3.25 for the asada. The reason why is because, um, I don't know, the meat is a little bit bland. It's just a very simple taco. Not a lot of flavor. But this sauce here, just dab a little on, on your taco and you're good to go. Fulcrum, come in. Yeah, I'm at 10th and Lehman. See you in about half an hour, all right? Fulcrum out. We got chorizo, asada. And lengua. Do you know what lengua is? That's beef tongue. Welcome to Francisco's, located at 10th and Lehman. On the other side of the railroad tracks, it's one of the original places that started doing tacos, these, um, these street taco style tacos. And they got the double shell. So I know they're good, but it's been a while. So let's see if it's still the same. Ooh, nice and warm, fully loaded. Here we go. I'm going in with the sauce right away. Three bites. Mm. The lengua is nice and tender. Very flavorful. Bite number two. Bite number three. My score for Francisco's lengua taco, 4.0. I might be a little biased because I love lengua, but it comes out really nice and juicy on the inside. I don't think these are homemade shells, but they, um, they heat them up on the grill real nice so that when it comes out, it's crispy on the outside and still a little bit tender on the inside. Combination there is very tasty. So 4.0 for Francisco's lengua tacos. Next up, I'm going with the chorizo. Yeah, I love the chorizo here. 
Mm. I love the crunch of the onions. Mm. Let's add some sauce. You must like it. It's gone. <laughs> he nailed it. Real big bite. Bite number two. Mm -hmm. This is a very good solid chorizo. Very good. The red one is spicier. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. Be very careful. This is very spicy. Oh my god. It's my favorite. Oh man. Guys, dig in. I'm good. Oh, oh. I didn't rate it. I didn't rate it. Okay. Chorizo. Uh, Francisco Chorizo. 3.75. Not as good as the lengua. Mainly because it's a little dry. But the sauce does help out with that. So use plenty of sauce on the chorizo tacos. But flavor on point, and like I said, it's one of my favorites anyway. So I love a good drizzle. I'm done. I, I can't eat anymore. You got try. You got rate that. You guys can rate that one. Oh, no. Since I'm getting close to full and I have another taco place to hit up, Joaquin's gonna rate the the, the steak taco. Uh, a red hot sauce. The red. He's got a lot of red hot sauce on there. Here we go. Three bites. Hmm. Mm. Not a lot of flavor. <laughs> the sauce is the only thing giving it flavor in the onions. I would give the best uh, two and a half. Two and a half. Two point five for the steak tacos from Volcano. In my opinion, you should get the lengua. It's just way more flavorful, juicy, um, and the chorizo. But their winner here is this green sauce. This is good stuff. And the red sauce. This is really spicy. Oh, so like spicy. Yeah, if you like spicy, but be careful. Don't put too much of that. This stuff here, you can just drink. Watch. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> there you go, Francisco's. By the way, don't be intimidated. As long as you don't come here too late at night, it's typically pretty safe. Except for there was a shooting the other day down the street here. <laughs> Oh, man, look at those things here. Hold on, let me show you guys what Coco got. The Wagyu meatballs. That looks, what is that? That's, that's pretty, dude. All right, we are at the gin mill. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to include the gin mill because they don't really do tacos, but they do have a really good menu item that is a taco that I thought I would include just because it's different and it's a little healthier. That is the ahi tuna taco, as you can see. Whoa. <laughs> As you can see, you only get two of them. So they're also the most expensive taco on my list. But uh, these are not three bite tacos. This is like a meal type of taco. So I'm gonna give Joaquin one. Here you go, Joaquin. It's a very pretty looking taco. Ready, ready? Here we go. Mm. <laughs> You're already mmm over there. I have to summer my inner Mark Weens. Mmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Whoa. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh wow! <laughs> this is a very, very, very different type of taco. Kind of want to take twenty bites. I know. So this taco is a little sweeter, very light, lots of veggies in it. Some sort of aioli, and then you have the pineapples in there with some cabbage. Obviously, the ahi tuna on top. Cook to perfection. My score for Gin Mills ahi tuna tacos, 3.5. It's not really my cup of tea, but a great alternative for anybody out there that wants to eat tacos, but wants something that's a little healthier. Tastes good. Interesting variety of textures and flavors in there but a little bit expensive. $17 for two tacos. We're at the Castaneda's Mexican restaurant, which is actually a food truck. It's located right off of 72 near um, Quentin House. If, you, if you're coming up 72 towards the Quentin House, you make a right uh, at the stoplight right there and you'll see Castaneda's uh, taco truck here. The special today is the birria tacos of twelve dollars, so it's basically four dollars each. Here we go. All right, that was fast. Yeah. 
Thank you. You're welcome, enjoy. Thank you all very much. For those of you that don't know what the birria taco is, it's basically like a stewed meat, um, and then they grill it with the um, with some cheese and some onions. What are you doing there? All right. They grill it with some cheese and some onions, and they give you a little bit of the stew dipping sauce right there on the side. See that? It looks good, right? Look at that. We got the stewed meat in there. We got cheese. We got onions, cilantro. Here we go. We're gonna dip it in to the sauce there, the 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 consomme. A little nibble first. Mm. Oh, explosion of flavor. Oh, wow. But it is extremely messy. The shell is like a corn tortilla, but it's nice and grilled, nice and hot. A little bit of crispy, chewy on the inside. Second bite and going in. Mmm. Mmm. Really good flavor. One more bite, guys, but first, I'm gonna have to use some of this extra spicy sauce in here. It looks like they got their own homemade sauce, which is a very good sign. Ready, here we go. The sauces, it's a good sauce. Casanadas, Birria Tacos, 4.5. 4.5, yeah. That's a fucking good taco. Amazing. Oh my God. That's a good taco. Good I've been all over Mexico. I, I know my tacos and, and you make a damn good taco here. Uh, amazing. I love it. Ah, not bad. All right. So I started with a chain and now I'm going to end with a chain. I'm here at Plaza Azteca located in Myerstown. This is kind of like a, like a casual sit down restaurant. Not really what I would consider like a taco joint. Yeah, it's just a standard Mexican restaurant, a huge menu. This place has the most variety in terms of tacos. Uh, pretty much anything you can think of they make here. Um, I ordered the ribeye taco. Um, but while we're waiting for the food, I first of all, I want to comment that the music is extremely loud here. Also, I wanted to say that if you're wondering why I didn't go to La Placita, it's because I tried to go there and they were closed. Um, they're closed Saturdays and Sundays, but I've been there many times and I would rank their tacos somewhere in, uh, very similar to Francisco's. Um, good tacos, but like I said, they're closed and I'm on a deadline, I have to get this finished tonight, so I can't wait until they're open. Um, I also stopped in at Quesa Diaz, and I recorded some footage, but I didn't like how the audio turned out. I gave them, I think, a 3.5 for their chorizo taco and then like a 3.25 for their shrimp tacos. So, in case you're wondering what happened to those two places, because they're uh, pretty well known in Lebanon, that's what happened. Uh, we got the ribeye tacos. It took them less than 10 minutes to bring this out. Uh, it seemed like less than 10 minutes, really fast. Looks like it's topped with some pickled red onions and cilantro, and that's pretty much it. Come to the side of beans and rice. I didn't get any kind of sauce or anything with this, so I'm assuming we just used the, uh, the sauce that came with our nachos. Yeah, maybe they have some kind of a hot sauce. When you see that lady, maybe try and flag her down. That's all right. I like to try it without the sauce anyway, so here we go. All right, right off the bat, this is a really nice and tender shell. I can feel it in my hands, uh, but lots of meat in there. Check it out, there's a lot of ribeye. There we go. The meat has a typical Spanish uh, flavors to it. Tiny bit of spice. The pickled onions, I do taste them, but they're not like super strong, which I guess it's kind of a good thing. Mm. Yeah, I really like the flavor of the meat. That's a good ribeye. Good, solid ribeye steak. You want one, honey? It's pretty good. Um, yeah, and there's just a tiny, tiny hint of spice. Tiny hint of spice. 
I wish I had some sauce to go with this though. Oh well, here we go. Mm. I really like the black beans. That's good. My rating for Plaza Azteca's ribeye tacos, 4.0. That's a solid steak taco. If you're in the mood for steak, definitely get the ribeye taco, but they have a huge taco menu, so it would take you a long time to get through the whole thing. But their steak taco is solid, 4.0. All right, there you go. That is the end of my taco tour of Lebanon. My choice for the best taco in town is the Birria Tacos at La Castaneda with a 4.5. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Also share this with your friends. It helps me with the algorithm. I appreciate everybody that's been watching me from the beginning. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.